Hello, I'm Izai. Welcome back to Rants 4.1. Save the medicine plant. So I just took a short break. I went to the bathroom because of said food poisoning. Like I said, my tummy was rumbling. Thankfully, I did not have to do any edit cuts in the last video. While I was on the bathroom, though, I was thinking about how to like efficiently do the recordings of my videos. I feel like what I'm gonna be doing for these recordings are... Uh, at least for you guys on Patreon, by the way, not for you guys on YouTube. For YouTube, it's still going to be the same. Three episodes of new epi- or, you know, new series every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And then one new series for the side... Side visual novel, which is, uh, right now Tokyo Necro for you guys. Which is going to be on Sunday. And, you know, every other day that's not uploaded will be for um, series that I already have, but they haven't been uploaded yet because of what happened to the channel. But yeah, I think for Patreon, I'm trying to get at least three videos per week for the side visual novel. And then seven videos for, you know, the main Rants series uh, Let's Play, right? So I think what I'm going to be doing is like two episodes for Rants from Sunday to, let's see, one, two, three, four. So two episodes from Monday to Wednesday, which I'll be recording. So that's about six, right? And then after that, I'll be recording one Rants episode and then... Hmm, that doesn't make sense, though. I'm trying to basically try to make a good schedule so that I can stick with it. Potentially, I don't want to um, record a video on Friday because on Friday, I might be going out with family. So let me think. Mondays through Thursdays, if I do two episodes of the main line, series that's going to be eight episodes so i can do three from monday to, to wednesday and then one on thursday and then for for tokyo necro which is the side visual novel i guess i can do it on tuesdays and thursdays because those days are when i don't have any you know when i go don't go to the gym so i have a lot more free time so yeah Expect the videos to be on Mondays to Thursdays for people on Patreon. Alright, sorry about that. I know I rambled a tiny bit. But alright, let's recap what happened last time. We met up with Bird. We explored a lot of the dungeon. We met up with Genry, Aline, and also Kisara, Bird's uh, new girlfriend, quote-unquote. And we also got the true Iceberg Sword, which from what the wiki said, might make the game too easy. But we're all about making the, the game easy. <laughs> At least in this sort of game where, you know, you don't really plan out too much stuff. But yeah, Genry also told us about some new stuff that we have to do in the statue there. So let's go there real quick, because we already have the water. So we go to point Z. We still have no idea how to get past the poison. But we definitely do not need to go past the honeys. Poopa man. <laughs> That's a pretty interesting sprite for the Poopa man. Damn, 49 damage. It's actually a lot of damage now. It's almost double what I did. I still have no idea if, like, EXP is actually useful in this game, mind you. Doesn't seem like we can do anything with the EXP we get. Alright, statue. Genry said to pour water in the statue, right? I poured the muddy water in the thermos over the statue. The statue shone white. The statue moved to 5 degrees to the right. 
Statue's pointing... there. Athena, go check out that wall. Athena-san went through the wall. I see. So it was a fake wall. We discovered a secret passage heading south. The statue's glow faded and it moved back to its original position. Interesting. Southeast. Stairs leading down. I see. We discovered descending stairs. Alright. Mark this point on the map. Let's see. We'll make it easy and call them stairs down. Well then, I'm looking forward to what we'll discover when we go down these stairs. But yeah, I assume upwards past the hall and to the right side of point Z is actually where it inter- like, you know, it connects. So if we get to the poison, or if we can bypass the poison, we can fuck those honeys up. I don't think so. Point's name stairs down. There are stairs leading down. There's stone stairs. They extend gently downwards. Okay. Alright, let's go down the stairs. We descended the stairs and arrive in the lower floor. Hmm. Better dungeon. Good idea. This'll be stairs up. Point name stairs up. There are stairs that lead to a higher floor. I wonder how many floors there are. A path leads west from here. Uh, let's save the game real quick. You never can be too careful in this game. Hmm, the path splits. Alright, draw this point on the map. It'll be point C. Another branching path. It's annoying if it gets too complicated. Point name, point C. Just a normal dungeon passageway. Paths lead north, west, and east from here. Let's try going upward first now. We entered a slightly open space. It's just a little open, huh? Athena was pointing at a pickaxe. It's against the wall like it's holding it up. It's a pickaxe. Alright. Then I named this place Point C. Write it. Point C ap apostrophe? Okay. Hmm. There's a path over there, but it looks kind of dangerous. The path to the east looked like it could collapse at any time. It's dangerous, but let's check out that path. <laughs> Poor Athena. Point name, point C apostrophe. The pathway is ancient, crumbling, and dangerous. Paths lead south and east from here. The pickaxe is leaning against the wall as if holding it up. It's holding up the wall. What'll happen if I take it? This is a pickaxe. It's a tool you use for digging in the ground. I hear it's for breaking rocks and digging up dirt. We could use this on the smelly place upstairs. It also apparently makes for a strong weapon. It doesn't have the greatest accuracy. But I bet it, its attack power could break most armor. Well, it's a little too ungainly a weapon for someone as cool as me. A pickaxe, eh? It could come in handy for something, so I may as well take it. It's stuck. Can't really get it out. Yeah, Come on! I forcefully pulled the pick pickaxe out from the wall it was buried in. Whew. Got it. Obtain pickaxe. Wait, I just realized what the hell is she saying? Like, see up? I'm guessing they actually have to edit out the... Oh, maybe that is what Athena 
Drew, even in the Japanese version. Hmm? The ground shook harder and harder until the eastern passageway completely caved in. Oh, the path collapsed. Well, I'm fine, so it's okay. We might want to reload. I want to see what's there. <laughs> I actually want to see what's there. So, thankfully, my safe point isn't too far away. There we go, we go up. Okay, there's an enemy this time. But we should be fine. We are strong now. Probably want to kill these Galons. Twenty-eight stamina. Good job, Rance. I'm guessing all of this is just RNG. And I'm guessing like the three or the took massive damage is usually when you get hit by your life. So the game says that if you're dead, or if you have zero life, you're basically dead. You can be unconscious, but you can't be dead. From what the game said. But yeah, if you kill them, or if you, you know, if these guys are unconscious, they're not dead. You can kind of kill them if they take uh, damage to their life. Which, they only have two lives left, but it's RNG whether you deal direct damage to their life or not. Oh, I can recover. Oh, what the? The recover is gone. Ah. I was gonna recover there. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we gained some experience. Okay, now we save and see what's going on on the right side. Hmm? A woman? What the? <laughs> uh. I can't censor this out for you guys, but there's definitely a woman. In the middle of the room sits a girl in chains. And she's naked. Or oh, shameless. A free meal, huh? Of course! Point name, mystery girl. There's a naked girl sitting in the middle of the room. A path leads west from here. There's a naked girl in front of me, and she's fantastically cute. The girl's legs are chained so that she can't escape. This is truly an opportunity. What's up with you? Alright, I will. But only if we get to do some fun stuff afterwards. I will. But you're gonna have to let me fuck you after. Is that okay? This is a trap! It's okay, then. Hmm. This is kind of weird. This is kind of weird. It's just too unnatural. A girl just sitting in a place like this? Practically begging for it? This is either a present from someone, since I've been on such good behavior. Or just maybe a trap. Hmm. I feel like it's more likely a trap. Save the game real quick, Rance. But we are going to help a damsel in distress. Wait, where, where's the help option? There we go. Should I really save her? Yeah, I can't leave this beauty here alone. I'll help you and then we'll fuck. Alright, I'm gonna help you right now. I knelt down to cut the girl's chains. I told you I'm gonna. 
They're kind of annoying. Um, I guess I'll cut these chains with my sword. Hmm? Hey! What are you doing? The girl started clinging to me. A girl's soft body is pressed up against mine. It feels great! Hey! I get that you wanna fuck, but wait a- Hey! The girl clung to me, not letting go. I can't cut the chains this way. Yeah, I know! Just move your hands! <laughs> I can't believe we fell for this! Several honeys appeared surrounding us. Gah! Enemies! Move! I couldn't stand up because of the girl clinging to me. A trap, huh? Shit! How could this happen? Shit! I was deceived by a woman's charms! Yeah! Athena! Fight them! I can't fight right now, so you need to! I'm telling you, you need to! Yeah! Ah! Is that a game over? We were bathed in waves of honey flashes and were defeated. <laughs> so stupid. Alright, let's reload. Fuck you, girl. Alright, let's take this stupid pickaxe. Alright, I guess we can't go to the right side anymore. I knew it was gonna be like a trap because it was optional if we can go to that right side, right? The path is collapsed and there's no way to get through. Marty Suzuki. Okay, so those are actually hard. This guy actually has dialogue, interesting. Arrow miss, damn. Okay, we need to summon Felis. Seven times. Ugh. Grant needs to heal up. Okay, I guess you stand by on moments like this. But yeah, I actually need to heal up here. Serengon 2. 75. Okay, that's pretty good. Maybe we might want to kill this guy. This guy has two more life bars. So we probably want to try to kill that guy. Alright, once you're dead, once your HP is up, I mean, like, you kinda attack directly to your life. So I guess that's good. We don't want the Martyr Suzuki attacking us. These Gallon should be fine. They're not that hard to beat. 20 EXP, not bad. Hmm? What was that? Spiderweb? There's a sticky substance clinging to one wall. Nah, it's something else. It's kind of creepy. The sticky stuff shook sometimes. It's alive. Just draw the map. Let's see. We'll call this sticky. Currently in sticky. Point name Sticky. A sticky substance seals the path to the north. Paths leads east and west from here. I see that typo. A gray sticky substance covers the wall. Occasionally, it twitches. It's disgusting sticky stuff. You know what this is, Athena? Hmm. That's... When the sticky stuff moved, I could see through it a little. It's not a wall, it's a passageway. Rather than sticking to a wall, the stuff is sealing off a passageway. 
eat? What the fuck? Alright, if we get rid of this sticky stuff, we can take the path behind it. Anyway, I'll try removing it with my hands. I grabbed the disgusting sticky stuff with both hands and pulled. Hmm. I managed to remove a handful of the stuff, but it slipped through my fingers and disappeared. So we need to put it in something. We can... <laughs> Why the fuck would we want to eat it? Alright, attack! Sure kill! Rance attack! The sticky stuff merely gave an elastic tremble. Shit. Maybe it tastes good. Athena, eat some. Okay, this makes a lot more sense. Yeah, this stuff. As she complained, Athena 2.0 ripped off a small piece of the sticky stuff and put it in her mouth. How is it? Yeah. No way! Okay. What is it, Athena? Ugh, it's a wire! Upon closer inspection, I notice a wire caught on Athena's neck, buried about a centimeter in. When I glance around the passageway, I notice thin wires strewn about. What is this, corpse party? What a cruel trap. You could walk through and accidentally separate your head from your body. Well, since it was Athena, she got away with not losing her head. But if it were me... What a gruesome trap. Fine, fine. Step back two paces, okay? The wire buried in Athena's 2.0's neck came out. Sheesh. Blocking the path like this. I swung my sword and cut the wires. I should have cut most of them now, but it's probably better to proceed with a little more caution. Athena, you walk in front. Arnie? Hmm? You mean this trap? It's terrible! If I find the guy who set this malicious trap, I'm gonna rip him to pieces! Sorry, I was drinking water there. Arnie ran off. Hey, there might be more traps, so it's dangerous to run like that. I mean, Rance, come on, she's the one that did it, man. Power Gorilla and Marty Suzuki. Wow, we need to kill these guys. Felix, we need you. I'm gonna follow what the game said, or the wiki said. I mean, Felix has a shit ton of life. There's no way that she's gonna die, I feel. Alright, time to kill him. Die, bastard. Yes, attack Felix, please. I wonder if it's worth it to kill these guys. Like, maybe it will reduce the encounter chance for them appearing. Or something. Not sure. Oh, there we go. So you level up automatically in this game. We reach a corner. Hmm. Draw the map up to here. It's a pain to just write point R. Currently in point R. Point name point R. It's a winding path. Paths leave north and east from here. Hmm? Someone's here. Who the heck are you? I'm me. The girl's standing there haughtily. My name is Rance. <laughs> Demons of capitalism. You're just a monster. You look like a human at first glance, but you're not. You're a gal monster.
I see. Then you're the ringleader. If I defeat you, this job's as good as over. I can pulverize a single wimpy gal monster like this in one hit. Here we go, Athena. When we rushed in, the Summontron backed up swiftly. Running away? The Summontron waved her hand and four monsters appeared. This. Oh, the Carpenters are pretty easy, so let's just kill these guys. Don't even need Felis for these guys. Damn, free damage. Yeah, and I guess the wounded and stuff like that is, uh... Is when you hit their life directly. Or, you know, is when their life is almost low. Is when they're gonna get wounded. Oh, ah, recovery! There we go. You always want to recover your life. Athena can do it, but Rance can't. <laughs> and you're next! What a selfish girl. How should I punish her? Point name, Summon Chan. The Summon Chan who's been filling this dungeon with monsters is here. A path leads south from here. There's a path to the north too, but I can't get it get to pass get to it past the Summon Chan. Don't worry, we're gonna do something to the Summon Chan, alright, Rance. She's standing a little ways away from us with her heart arms folded confidently. She's a rare kind of gal monster you don't typically see in regular caves. She's pretty cute, but foul mouth. I want to capture her and punish her. Hey, stop summoning other monsters and fight us fair and square. Duh, that's how you fight. Shut up, I'm calling you a coward. I'm gonna defeat you, have my way with you, and sell you off when I'm done, you cheeky bitch. You're really pissing me off, you know? <laughs> this job will be over if I beat this bitch. I know it, but... If I start fighting the monster she summons, she'll just summon more, so I can't win. I've got to come up with a plan. How to rape you! Shut it. Away. Away. I can't let Bird or Genry get ahead of me while I'm thinking about this. Hmm. Is there anything I can do? Anything. I guess in situations like this, I should go home for, for the night. I'm sure I'll figure something out tomorrow. <laughs> I guess this is how we go to sleep. Today I should go back and assault that receptionist. I'll get this bitch later. Alright. Let's go back, Ransom. I guess the game doesn't really, like, confuse you about what you need to do. They straight up tell you what you need to do. Except for the optional stuff, you'd never probably know about the true Iceberg Sword unless you look at the wiki like I did. What? Eat the stairs? Let me save my game real quick, what the fuck? Why is that even an option? I'm a good kid with no picky preferences, but even I can't eat stairs. <laughs> what the fuck? Why is that even an option then? Okay. We can try to use the pickaxe on the smelly area and see if that does something before we go back home. Or, you know, towards the receptionist, I mean. Uh, hello, totally, um, not sill. <laughs> mm -hmm. A woman! The pink-haired woman ran away. Hey, wait! Shit, she got away. 
Who the heck is she? Well, I'll meet her again at some point. Heh. <laughs> yeah, totally not still. Oops. Okay, let's see if I can use it. Item... Pickaxe. Nope. Doesn't seem I can use it. Back we go then. We should be able to use it at some point. Just not sure what to use it on. Exit door... There we go. Hmm. Huh? The receptionist's gone! Huh? Where'd she go? The receptionist! She done with work already? Shit! Should've come earlier! Well, I'll come tomorrow. Hmm? Hmm? I heard something. Seriously suspicious voice. A woman's voice. And it sounds sexy. Athena! Was that you? No. There's no way you could sound that sexy. Which means... It's coming from the reception desk. Is someone there? Ah! Patreon.com, this is Akiyosuke. I took two, then three steps back. We're done. I gave up on that girl. Even if I did fuck her, after that, she'd be a gaping fucking hole. Chih. But why Genry? I can't accept this. My shoulders dropped in disappointment as I left the scene. Maybe there's a scene with uh, Aline if I go to her room. Aw, oh, she's not here. Alright, we're gonna go home. Hmm? What? It certainly was already evening. We should probably rest for today. There's no need to overwork ourselves. Yeah, we should probably get to bed soon. Shut up! Bird's room. Bird doesn't have a room here. Damn. Well, the day's just about over, so why don't we go to bed? I removed my sword and armor and took a seat on the bed. Athena followed me, a smile on her face. Athena 2.0 started rubbing against my leg like a dog in heat. Jeez, there's so much trouble. Is this also going to be Patreon exclusive? Athena 2.0 pulled my pants down. Yeah, this is going to be Patreon.com, this is Ikeosuke. Athena 2.0 put my underwear down. Athena 2.0 put my cock in her mouth. <laughs> I guess technically this is not really that bad of a CG. I can still show this. Ooh, this feels pretty good. Hey, get back to work. Athena 2.0 licked my dick. The pleasant sensation was satisfying. Well, let's recap everything that happened today. I guess I can show this. This is not Patreon exclusive. <laughs> God damn it, Ransom. Um, let's see. Today. I went to a movie. I fished with Seal. I adventured. I went to a movie. Yeah, today I went to see a movie. The title was The Wet Witches, so... Hmm? Something's weird about this. That happened four days ago. That wasn't today. Yeah, I went fishing for the first time in a bit. I was after a Bahama shellfish. It's got a beautiful shell.
And I wasn't catching any, so I got annoyed and stuck the fishing rod into Seal's pussy. Then I made her fish like that for a while. It was fun watching Seal squirm when a fish bit. Hmm? Wait a second. This happened five days ago. It wasn't today. I love exploring the options in this game. That's right. We ran out of money, so I decided to work for the first time in a while. The job was from Happiness Pharmaceuticals. Apparently, monsters... The job was from Happiness Pharmaceuticals. Apparently, monsters <laughs> fell from the sky, so they want me to exterminate them. Hmm? Wait, that's not it. Attack the factory, attack the enforce. Dozens of thousands of monsters appeared, so I have the extremely troublesome job of, of exterminating them. Hmm? Wait, that's not it. Appeared under the factory, so they want me to exterminate them. The reward is 150,000 gold. It's exceptional. I can fool around for quite a bit. Quite a bit while with it. Quite a while with it. As my subordinate, I brought along... I brought Felis. Wait a second. That's wrong. Why do we have this, like, Sherlock Holmes shit? <laughs> I brought Syl. Hmm? That's wrong. She's watching the house. I decided to bring along Athena 2.0 for the job. The monsters in the dungeon aren't particularly strong, so everything's going well so far. I also met a few different people. Okay, I met all these people. Kisarchan's Bird's partner. She's a beautiful, imposing girl. She's way too good for someone like Bird. I would definitely like to become sex friends with her. Well, we're on the same job. I have plenty of opportunities to meet her. Plenty of chances. Sorry, Bird. But she's mine. <laughs> Rosan is a researcher employed by Happiness Pharmaceuticals. She's probably older than me, but she seems like a cute girl. I guess this is why the receptionist doesn't have a name. Because we don't get the fucker. Girls like her become real docile after one time, so she'll be easy to deal with. I better choose the time carefully. I have a good idea. Why don't I go assault her now? She seems like a total science nerd like Maria, so she's probably still in her research lab. It's a perfect chance. <laughs> Arnie, huh? She's an adventurer like me, but she was losing to green honeys, so she's probably pretty weak. She's a small fry. She's got no chance of being my rival for this job. But she's cute, so I think I'm gonna fuck her. I'm sure she's waiting for that too. I bet she's somewhere in this dorm, just like me. Che. Damn. I should've asked her room number. If I knew it, I could sneak over and we could have a rendezvous of love right now. Che. You okay, Athena? <laughs> Go salt rose. Aline Happiness, the daughter of the company president. Daughter of the president kinda sounds exciting, but she is just a brat. In a few more years, she might become... An enjoyable existence. But she's got nothing now. She'd she's at least gonna be big enough that my, that my dick will fit in her. Come to think of it, she told me to come to her room to play, didn't she? I guess I'll stop by for a bit tomorrow. Alright. Alright, let's go do Rose. When I make decisions, I act quickly. Me too, Rance. Athena looked up at me after her fellatio was interrupted. I'm going out. We're not. Athena 2.0 recovers quickly. You're staying here, Athena. Not having BGM on this is, you know, like I said, kind of awkward for you guys. It's not that awkward for me. Nope. You're staying here. I left Athena in the room to have her fit and went out into the hallway. Who the hell brings a girl to visit another one? I mean, if you want a threesome... Well then, Rosan's research lab was over here. Sneaking around on tiptoe like this, I don't know. It's really exciting. <laughs> Just wait for me, Rosan. I snuck through the hallway in the night. Oh, here it is. The hallway was dark, but the second research lab was brightly lit. Looks like she's, she's still doing research. And I bet she's all alone. Well then, 
Let's take a look. Hmm? What's that voice? Uh... Genre! Patreon.com says is IQOSK. I heard a seductive voice. It couldn't be. Somebody got to her first? Somebody's fucking my rose son. No fucking way! Is it Genry? I'll kill the bastard! I opened the door quietly, t <laughs> intending to stab Genry to death. Ah. <laughs> I got to see something good. I approached Rose slowly. Rose was almost crying. Nah. I took Rose's hand and embraced her. Then, I swiftly kissed her. Rose's lips were soft. This is great. Rose resisted, trying to get away. But as the kiss went on, her resistance weakened. I broke the kiss and looked at Rose. A beautiful girl like you shouldn't have to play by herself like this. Rose looked down. Her voice was trembling. No, you are. You're very attractive. Here, feel this. I took Rose's hand and made her feel my hot, hyperized dick. I got excited watching you, and I don't get aroused watching uglies. Yeah, and it's way better than a cold test tube. Rose put her hands in front of her as if to push me away. I grabbed her hands. I won't let her get away now. If you resist, I'll tell everyone that you are masturbating here. Rose's resistance weakened. Alright, I'll give you some love. I push Rose down and on the table. Morning. Uh, but yeah, I just took a short break there. Had to go to the bathroom. Thankfully, it was at the end of the scene, so you guys uh, didn't really uh, see a transition there. Hmm? I slowly woke from a pleasant sleep. Already... Morning, huh? I'm kinda tired. How many times did we do it last night? One? Two? Three? Round five? Ugh. I'm tired. This is... Right. Ugh. Ugh. I stretched, yawning hugely. Rosan handed me some coffee and a beaker. Hmm? This container? You don't use it for experiments, do you? Hmm. I was a little apprehensive, but I drank the coffee in the beaker. Ugh. It's bitter. Yeah. We took a little rest. What is it? Nah. I told you yesterday too, right? You're my woman now. Right. I took a big gulp of coffee. You better listen to everything I say from now on, you got it? Rance looked down and- oh, Rose looked down and nodded. If you do what I say, I'll fuck you again. I fondled Rose's butt as I spoke. Good. <laughs> now this woman too is mine. Piece of cake. The door flew open and Athena, Athena 2.0 appeared. What is it? Looks like Athena 2.0 is in a hurry. Right in the morning. Jeez. Well, let's go. Yeah. Fine, fine. We headed to the waiting room. What the heck? Everyone's here. And it's a little tense in here. Shut it. Men are supposed to be late. Everyone starts making noise all at once. Hey, wait a second. Who the heck's Flukeson? I don't know him. I've never seen him. How can you say that? Conan continued after looking over at all of us.
This is stupid. I'm leaving. It was just a stupid warrior getting poisoned, right? I don't fucking care who killed him. The guy who got killed just fucked up. Anybody stupid enough to get poisoned would have just been monster food anyway. His death just came sooner. Why the fuck would I do something as troublesome as poisoning someone? I cut down the people I don't like on the spot. <laughs> oh, I love you, Rance. The thing about this guy is that he actually says that and he does it. How about I kill you then, Conan? <laughs> we left Conan alone in the room. Seriously. Calling me out for something stupid like that? Why should I care if some piece of, piece of trash dies? But who killed him, I wonder? Guess I should be a little more careful. Someone treacherous enough to use poison to kill would surely envy my super talent after all. Genry called out to me over familiarly. What? To what? <laughs> hey, those two are my prey. Huh? What the hell would I lose to a shitty monk like you? Don't be so rude. Genry left laughing. I can't forgive his very existence. I've got to kill him. <laughs> Let's go see how Conan's doing. Or the reception is first, I guess. I don't really have any business. I've got nothing to say to a receptionist who screws guys instead of doing her job. Yeah, me too. Seriously, this is annoying. I don't want to talk to this bitch anymore. <laughs> Rant. Why? Why? Why with fucking Genry? I can't accept this. He didn't rape you? He's not blackmailing you? It's gotta be something like that, right? With that ugly mug? This girl... Her sense of beauty is way off. Seriously, how could this happen? What the? <laughs> now she actually answers this. Oh, fuck you too, receptionist. Why? That monk? What was that? What do you mean, yep? Seriously? I guess it's like, yep, not yep. <laughs> oh, I thought this was gonna change. Because, you know, like, Genry already got to her, but no. Alright, let's get out of here. We don't want this receptionist anymore. Someone in the cafeteria? No. Alright. Any new food? Oh, it's the same. Alright, Conan, you got anything new? Nothing new. There's nothing on the third floor, right? Still nothing here? Fourth floor is Joseph and Rose. Let's t let's talk to uh, Joseph real quick. He does like Rose after all. Nothing new. Yeah, still nothing new. Rose definitely has something new, so we'll try to uh, yeah talk to Rose for a bit. Hmm. The room was full of researchers, including Rosan. Okay. This actually didn't change, even though we already, you know... I came to see you. Rose blushed and looked down. What an innocent one. I embraced Rose from behind and violently groped her breasts over her clothes. Nah. 
I dropped her harder. Hmm? I looked around. The other researchers were definitely watching. But when my eyes met theirs, they looked away and went back to their work. I guess I'll stop the groping then. Rose is my woman now. If I want to do her, I can anytime. There's no need to rush right now. I guess that's true. Yamada, you got something new? Okay, nothing new. Did she tell me what these do? I guess no. Alright, let's go to the fifth floor. You hear, Aline? I found a girl in the middle of the room. It's the one I ran into in the hallway. I think her name was Aline. I didn't come to play. Aline took my hand, smiling happily. Hmm. I don't know what she's so happy about, but I guess it makes me feel good to see her so happy. Mm-hmm. Aline took two cushions out of her dresser and laid them on the floor. We were sat down on the floor. I don't like sitting on the floor. Che. What indeed? Then sex! Aline stared at me blankly. Nah, forget about it. Don't ask so persistently. Seriously. Aline is the daughter of, the, of President O'Harris. She looks about 10 years old. You could steal all of the assets of Happiness Pharmaceuticals if you seduced this girl and married her. But I'm not a lollycon, so I'll pass. <laughs> That's how I imagine Rance is uh, saying that in, in his head. I'll pass. I know. I'll make her cry. I suddenly came up with the idea. The only question was how. I'm gonna beat you, you big sh- I shouted at Aline at the top of my lungs. <laughs> what the fuck? Huh? Apparently, Aline hadn't understood the meaning of my words. Oh, sorry, this is actually new. I could bully her by making her lose her virginity early. Hmm. But that doesn't really sound fun. They're better younger, but there is such a thing as too young. I should wait until she's a little older. Nah, it's nothing. <laughs> so stupid. Okay, that's how it says. I missed the first sentence there. But alright, anything new that we can do here? What if I actually, you know, like punch the stuffed animal? I thought I could punch this. I guess not when it leans here. Aline looked at me curiously as I fished through her garbage. Well, I just thought it could be dangerous if there were, like, a bomb in here or something. Of course, I'm an ally of girls, you know. <laughs> okay, this is also the same even though Aline's here. I guess nothing is new. Alright, let's get out of here. Can we actually use the ballpoint pen on her, though? Let's try it real quick. Item... Okay. What is that ballpoint pen, anyway? Anything for you to say, Mr. Doharis? Nothing new. Alright, let's move out. Okay, let's save. And then maybe go to the dormitory real quick before we go back into the dungeon. Anything new in the dormitory? <laughs> I still think this is actually hilarious. <laughs> Are you gonna tell me like Arnie or something? No Arnie's room? Fuck you too, Silberil. 
<laughs> All right, I'm not even gonna talk to you, Sil. Barrel. Okay, we can't do anything. I guess we go to the Serengon factory again. Let me check the wiki real quick and see what we gotta do. Okay. We got a Thermos, Summontron. Damn you, Genry. Okay, we did Rose. Oh, we can do- Oh, we can do something with the Thermos again. Interesting. But we gotta go to the factory. I really hate this factory. Athena 2.0 jumped up. What do ghosts and dragonflies have to do with each other? Well, I'm not gonna ask, because the answer will only make less sense. Ugh! What? Kuntama? Don't appear so suddenly. I kicked Kuntama to the ground. Okay. There's probably nothing new with you, right? Yeah, nothing new. So... Let's enter. And I gotta go to where we went to before, with the sticky area. Okay, so I moved to point Y. Gotta go ahead towards the ladder. Having a guide actually is nice so that you don't have to backtrack for stuff that you missed. Because it looks like you can get uh, the sticky stuff and use the thermos to get the sticky stuff. And then you get a new 8 scene with Rose. Which I think will be where we end this episode off. I mean, who thinks about getting like the sticky stuff with the thermos? I mean, I guess it makes sense though. Yeah, let's take a little of this sticky stuff. It's probably useless, but this sort of boring work is the first step on the path to success. I opened the lid of the thermos. I tore off a small piece of the sticky stuff and put it in the thermos. It won't go in. Come on! Ugh! I got it in somehow. The sticky stuff twitched inside the thermos. I got some of the sticky stuff in the thermos. Awesome. I wish we actually have a return bonsai though. So annoying to traverse this area again. I was gonna say at least there's no enemies, but then this suddenly happened. Alright, let's fuck these guys up. Come on! You left them with 1 HP? Nice. I think the Poopa Man can actually not attack or something. He has a shit ton of power, but he's not really doing anything. Thanks for the EXP, I suppose. Point YY. Yeah, this game is actually not that long. From what it looks like on the wiki, it seems this game only goes up to day 3. So day 3 is going to be the finale. Though I'm not sure how long day 3 is going to be. I assume this is probably going to be like a 7 episode or something. Like a 7, seven episode game. At most. Alright, Lee Factory. Go to the office. Alright, Rose. Let me use this stupid, sticky thermos on you. I know. I'll make Rusan check out this sticky stuff. Hey, do you know what the weird stuff in this thermos is? I handed the thermos to Rose. 
Rose transferred the thermos's contents onto a Petri dish. Infla... What was that? Pathogen? Hmm. Well, whatever. The path's blocked by this stuff. Do something about it. A vaccine? Alright, good. Hurry up and make it. What? You can't make it now? Late! That's too late! Make it now! Shut up! Shut up! I swept the glass instruments on the desk aside. The other researchers looked over to me. They were all curious about what had happened, but none of them were brave enough to complain. I then brought my sword down on the opposite side desk. I don't think you understand your position right now, Rose. You're my woman. What I say should be top priority to you. But nothing. You need to be re-educated. Come here. I grabbed Rose's hair and pulled her out of the out of the research lab. <laughs> Rants. Patreon.com says is IQSK. I pulled Rose into the bathroom. Strip. I'm telling you to take your panties off. Ah, like this. I ripped Rose's panties off where she stood. I slapped Rose's face. Shut up. Shut up and put your hands on the wall. And stick your ass out this way. Rose put her hands on the wall timidly. Alright, I'm gonna punish you. I grabbed Rose's ass and shoved my hyper weapon into her while she wasn't wet at all. Is there gonna be a CG? If there's no CG, I could actually, like, show this uh, not on Patreon only. <laughs> Second research lab. Alright. Medicine to melt the sticky crap. You'd better make it. I handed the thermos with the sticky stuff in it to Rose. Rose called out to her fellow researchers. I left the research lab after watching Rose start explaining to the other researchers. Ah, that was so stupid. But alright, looks like we need to go to Ellen again. We actually need to talk to her multiple times, it looks like. I think this will be the last time, or the last thing we do before we stop. Damn, that rant. <laughs> that H scene was so good. Okay. Hmm. Ellen stood up and took a small box out of a drawer in her desk. What's that? Sorry, I had to cut there. Ellen explained to me excitedly as she took a map and little pieces of the box. Ah, whatever. This is too much work. Ellen looks sad. But a mature adult says when he doesn't like something. Nope. Sounds boring. I am kind of in agreement with Rance here, you know. Rather than lie to people, I kind of prefer doing what Rance does here. And, you know, say something that I don't like. Straight up. Ellen cleaned up the box. How reliable the sky honey looks as he flies through the blue sky. I'm supposed to take note of this, of this poem. I think. From what it looks like. Okay, let me actually take a look. Is this the poem I'm looking for? Hmm? What's that? Aline said a little proudly. Chikoka. Hmm, that sounds boring too. Ah, I think this is the, the one I need to know. Your best one. There we go. I need to make, make note of this one. A meteorite falls in a metropolis. I just cry, just cry.
Where the heck was 1999 or 5 million people in that poem? Okay, that's the one I need to make note of. But I'll try to take a look at 2 and 3 before we end the episode. What the hell is Pentheum? I know where the P Pentium is. So what's that one mean? That sounds really random. Even I can understand this one. It's about how you can't choose between having a doggy or a kitty for a pet, right? There are actually guy monsters in this? I guess that's true. There's no cats or dogs as a pet. Because I saw so we, we saw those ball cats, right? They're actually pretty strong. Chih. All right. And with that, I think this is gonna be where I end the episode. So next time we will be going to the Serongan factory and use the influenza drug to get rid of the influenza sticky thing. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Give this video a like if you guys like it. Sub if you guys haven't. Patreon will be getting these episodes early access along with everything uncensored. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Like I said, this will be my last recording for today. I was thinking about doing one more, but like I said, I think my schedule for Patreon is going to be two episodes from Monday to Wednesday and then one episode for Thursday and one episode for um, Beside VN on Tuesday and two on Thursdays because there's no gym there. But yeah, hope you guys have an enjoyable time. I will see you guys next time.